Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel for another episode today with the Rayfield Farmer. So, you remember for the last couple videos there we were getting this cornmeal done. This is the finished product and this is the finished commodity shed that I built for it. Um, it's pretty good stuff. It's nice. It's running about 70% dry matter. Um, be nice if it was a little bit drier than that but that's okay this is the little makeshift shed i built here right in the bunk one side's just connected to the wall there and the rest of it's all mafia blocks and it's just very temporary because uh it's gonna have to get moved when we're gonna be chopping hay so you see i just got them strapped with a couple of pieces of <laughs> excuse the pager uh, got them strapped up there with a couple pieces of ratchet strap um, Some old bu this was all material. I had on the farm already the only new stuff in here is screws So worked out well very cheap very efficient way to hold it and keep it dry and keep it out of the weather so Today we got to clean off a little bit more corn silage as I'm going away for the weekend. It's Christmas weekend uh, I gotta go out to Brooklyn Brooklyn's house uh, hang out with that family and so i gotta make sure there's enough corn silage to feed while i'm gone uh so nobody else has to take care of it so let's go do that gotta move the tires and whatnot and fork a little bit off so let's get after it usually i try and parkour up the side of the loader bucket and go over the top and uh hop onto the corn silage but the bunk's getting a little bit tall now to do that and I don't really feel like falling off and breaking myself today. So we're going to go the long way around, climb up the pile, and we'll see you at the top. So I've been trying to keep a double stacked line of tires right on the edge of the plastic to keep from having any air going up underneath the plastic and getting on the other side of it there. But you can see this is the stuff that we clean off. I mean, there is zero spoilage on any of this all the way just over t until the edge you'll see that when we open her up but ah don't want to fall off of there or have the pile cave in no bueno mm -hmm. yeah it's all frozen today maybe just a little over here i don't know but yeah the spoilage only just starts right over there so all right jesus showed up so i gotta get the plastic down and then he said he'll fork so i'll head down there and get the payloader and he'll fork it off and then we'll be done because we don't need any more hay cleaned off because that lasts a while all right so we got the got the plastic dumped off i'm going to clean up the good feed underneath so that in case anything falls down uh nothing it's too dirty there you can see we got the sidewall plastic there maybe you can see maybe not that's been working out pretty good there's a big difference in the spoilage load on the side of the feed. I really like there to be like no spoilage but I know that that's not possible with how much feed we have to get put in this bunk because once you get too high up over the wall you can't get down over the side and that winds up being spoilage there anyway just because you can't pack it but there is a big difference this year in how much spoilage there is uh, in comparison to other years. second fork up 
there with me because I wasn't expecting him to come help me. Uh, me and me and Dan Lipia lost the ultra deer. Yeah, yeah. There's like maybe five, six days pay there, and like a week here. So the yeah. end. Gracias. I gotta show you guys something unfortunate that happened to me the other morning in the dark while I was facing off the corn pile. So, there's always been a little bit of a gap between uh, that, between that one and this one. There was, it was always like lean some and whatnot. And no, I have not broken all these things with the payloader uh it was already like that because you can see there's no there's only one little piece of concrete right there but i backed into it by accident with the payloader and i like barely tapped it and the freaking thing just wham fell over so probably come springtime uh we'll have to set it back up and regrade the floor and whatnot because as you can see it doesn't drain very well right there either so um we'll get that sorted out there when it's not not cold and frozen and wet and we can get the ground all fixed it's not hurting anything sitting there right now but that wall's gotten a little bit out of whack too throughout the years that it's been up so that'll be a good excuse to fix that but, okay i guess that's all what we got for today so thank you for watching along like subscribe eat your dairy products we'll see you on the next video and uh, since I probably won't talk to you before then, I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's, and we'll see you on the next one.